Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. <laughs> This is the Aftermath show in association with Mondo Goal. And don't forget, each and every week, get your Mondo Goal team in. You'll be able to see the links below straight after the show. And I'll tell you what, I didn't do too badly last week. I had Arsenal players in there, Lopes. I had uh, United players in there, like Fellaini. I didn't do too badly. I still haven't won it. Um, but I, I haven't fully checked. But I get the feeling my team definitely destroyed the um, Redmen TV's Liverpool team because they had a love of the Liverpool players in it. Now, listen, let's get to the game. What a fantastic performance by Arsenal. I mean, to a man, to every single player on that team played exceptional on Saturday. I just loved the way in which they started that game. I mean, I was going to the game and I I was confident that we could get a victory, but I was a little bit worried about that 12.45 kickoff. We remember last year when we had 12.45 kickoff against Liverpool and they blitzed us. Well, you know what? It was the other way around this year. We went for it right from the whistle blew. We were closing down. We didn't give their back free any space whatsoever. Colo Torre had a torrid time coming back to the Emirates. I mean, every time he got the ball, it was like Giroud was on him, Alexis Sanchez was on him, and it was just a brilliant performance. There was just one little lapse by Arsenal, um, I think when Markovic was through with Sterling, when really and truly Liverpool should have scored, they wasted that chance, and then after that, it was all Arsenal again. And to be honest, even if they'd have scored, I quite fancied that we would have come back and still beaten them quite easily. I mean, there was a big, big gap between the two teams out there on Saturday. You saw one team, Arsenal, way, way ahead, in my opinion, of Liverpool. And we showed it. We showed our class. And it was a magnificent performance. And I'll tell you what, I I'm, I'm going to even get straight into the tweets. You know why? Because I'm sure that everything I'm about to say will just get echoed by what you guys are going to say. So let's get straight into what you guys have got to say, because that's the most important thing here. Um, Alex Bat says uh, four superb goals in their own way, and I agree with that completely. Very enjoyable game. Just want to thank Arteta and Flamini for getting injured. <laughs> on that, Francis Coquelin on Saturday. What a performance yet again. When you're writing the team sheet right now for Arsenal's teams, he's got to be one of the first players on it. He broke up all the play. He stopped. He, he's like an insurance policy for Arsenal. He let Santi Cozzola, Mesut Ozil, all of those guys play, and he just says, listen, if anything goes wrong, I'm here, and I'm going to clear it up. The amount of tackles he made on Saturday, the passing he did, this guy has got everything. I'm really starting to think to myself, do we need to find a, uh, sign a defensive midfielder ahead of him, or... Whoever comes in, are they going to be back up to him? Because right now, you've got to say, he's one of the best players right now in our team. And week in, week out, he's putting in these performances. Absolutely blinding from Francis Coquelin. Um, Adam Arsenal says, a great win. Will be interesting to see if any of the returning players will come into the squad. Would not change the current eleven and you start to see that we've got a great squad. I mean, remember, players like Alex Oxlade chamberlain who's been I think he's been exceptional this season. Not, not in that team on Saturday. Jack Wilshire, you know, Debucci when he comes back. How can you put Debucci right now, as good a player as I think he is, how can you put him in instead of Hector Bellerin? Callum Chambers as well. I mean, it's really, really looking good at the moment. Um, Atul Arsenal says, when they beat us last season, they were saying that we got blitzed. That's what I said earlier. This time, they got blitzed. The goals will be on the Sky ads. It was the BT ads where they, they remember when they were showing them BT ads, taking the mick out of Arsenal. Well, listen, they need to redo those ads because <laughs> we destroyed them. Um, Mr. DT, my good friend Mr. DT says, uh, Best I've seen Arsenal play since the Invincibles. Wow, that's high praise indeed. He said we looked hungry and determined. Definitely, we were so hungry. 
right from the start of the, the, the kickoff. And he said, LFC, Liverpool um, can see now why Sterling is flattered. And that is so true. As I said before, to me, we're on another level to Liverpool. Like, that's not me being condescending. That's not me disrespecting Liverpool. To me, that's the truth. We are on a different level to Liverpool Football Club right now. I'm sorry, that is the truth. And that's why Sterling is probably looking at it and thinking, well, I play for Arsenal. The style of football they play is going to suit me. Um, the, 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 they're going to be in the Champions League. They're going to be challenging for the title. That, that team that's out there at the moment, add a couple of bits to it, next season will definitely be challenging for the title. So you can see why Sterling is starting to look and think to himself about teams like Arsenal. Although, would he get in the team? Would he get in front of Welbeck? Would he get in front of Walcott? Would he get in front of Oxlade Chamberlain? Alexis Sanchez? All these guys can play on the right. Thomas Rizicki. So, you know. Um, A1 says, a great performance from the boys. Revenge for last season. We fully dented their top four hopes. Everyone turned up. Everyone who played turned up, he says. Um, Alexinate says, uh, we're playing some of our best football in years. He said, I worry about players like Jack Wilshire. How is he going to get back into the team? The great thing about it is competition for places. If Jack Wilshire does come back in, he knows that he can't put in a bad performance or he'll be gone from the team for ages. Um, slightly different says, uh, anything could happen in these last few games. Where the stuff has happened than us pulling it back. Remember Liverpool last year, how they blew their lead and made Man City come in and win the title. To be honest, I can't see us overhauling Chelsea. They just seem to be grinding it out. I mean, look at um, their game against Stoke. You know, uh, Stoke worked so hard, got back in the game. You thought maybe a draw. Then the Stoke goalkeeper just goes and rolls it out to Eddie Nazard of all people and says, yeah, come on in, come and score. And I don't know, I think Chelsea are too far ahead. They, they, they've got that cushion. And Jose Mourinho, and you know what he's like, he could even come to the Emirates, lock it down, park the bus, go to, uh, you know, play against United, park the bus. He doesn't have to win those games because he's got that cushion. And that's why I think Chelsea will win it. But let's, at Arsenal, I said this about a month ago, let's try and finish second. Um, let's try and do better than what we did last year so we can say, right, it's a step in the right direction. We're improving. Next year, let's go and try and win that um, league for, for, for definite. Let's challenge for it right from the off. Um, Carl said, none of the Liverpool squad would get on Arsenal's bench, let alone the first 11. That's a bit harsh, but I'll tell you what. Before the uh, game last week, uh, we teamed up with Redmen TV and we both selected our 11. And I'll be honest with you, I was being a bit over generous, right? When I had so many Liverpool players um, in, I think I had three Liverpool players in my team. Um, Coutinho, Sterling, um, I think uh, uh, Sacco. But let me tell you something. After I saw that game on Saturday, maybe Sterling. I can't see how any other Liverpool player could get into Arsenal's first eleven right now. I mean, Redmen TV, they had... When I saw their team, I was like, come on. I know you guys are trying to support Liverpool. But... They put Milne in goal over Ospina. You're having a laugh, mate. I, I think this guy's, I wouldn't say on our bench, but definitely in our first 11, the only player in that Liverpool team right now that I could say would get into the first 11. And then even then, is Sterling. And even then, I don't know. Because actually, he can't. Because if you're going to put him on the right, what, what, is he going to get in front of Alexis Sanchez? No, he's not. So, maybe not. Maybe Skirtle, if he was fit, maybe we'll get into the first 11. But, he's, we, as I said, I think we're a level above them right now. Uh, last one, Ahmed Mahmoud says, brilliant performance by the team. A brilliant run of form we're going through right now. Arsene Wenger deserves a lot of credit. He does deserve a lot of credit. Um... I was chatting to Claude on Saturday. Claude was saying he's been lucky, is what Claude said. He goes, very fortunate with the whole Cochrane thing. I think there's two arguments to this. Number one, he put him back in. And I remember that game that I went to when Cochrane came back in and there was fans saying to me, imagine this. We've gone now and brought a guy back from Charlton 
to play there as defensive midfielder. That's how desperate we've got. What is Wenger doing? Blah, blah. It was his decision to put him back in. He's been brilliant. He's had a lot of faith in Coughlin over the years as well, and now it's paying off. You could also, though, look on it and say to yourself, why didn't we buy a defensive midfielder or put Coquelin in there right at the start of the season? Because we've been crying out for a defensive midfielder for ages just to make those other guys play. And you can see now that when a defensive midfielder is in there just in front of that back four, it gives that insurance policy. And, you know... If we go out and buy another top quality defensive midfielder in the summer, I think that will be one of those steps that could help us to win the title. In those really tight games, in games where we're a bit under it, those players will help us defensively to get over the line. And we, we've got to be strong defensively to win the Premier League. But it's been a great, great Easter. If you're an Arsenal fan, it's been a great weekend. It was a fantastic result. And I'm still buzzing. I'm still buzzing for that. We move on to Burnley next week. It's not going to be easy. Burnley have done very well at home against the um, the big teams. You saw that they got a draw against Tottenham, a very lackluster Tottenham. I remember them Tottenham fans who were giving me grief after the Tottenham game, telling me about um, it, it's all changed now and this is going to break you. It's going to break you, Robbie. <laughs> I'll come back to them at the end of the season. But listen, um, it's going to be a tough game. So Arsenal got to bring their A game. But at the moment, the way the whole squad is confident and the way they're firing, Giroud and guys like that, I think we can definitely get a victory against them. Thanks for watching Arsenal Fan TV. Don't forget, the links are below for Mondo Goal. Uh, get involved in that. <laughs> I'm getting a message here um, from my cameraman. Um, he said, just to thank you guys, we've just achieved 150,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Keep subscribing to us. Keep it locked here on, on Arsenal Fan TV. And as I said, don't forget to check out that Monda Goals link. Check out our shop. Um, this is what helps fund Arsenal Fan TV. This new Invincibles one is, oh, I love this. I love this to the max. And um, listen, I'm buzzing here on Arsenal Fan TV I don't even want the season to end now. I don't want it to end. I just want it to keep going because we are now playing how Ars we're playing like how we used to play in these days. Arsenal Fan TV. Oh, I can't fault. The performance today was incredible. First mm. half, uh, the referee tried to spoil it a bit in the second half, but mm. but in the end, we, we were we're mm. magnificent. We and a big goal for Urzil, big goal for um, Alexis Sanchez as well, and also oh, oh. also the lamppost again. Oh. Lamppost is making it. <laughs> the lamppost is giving you and, some serious stick, he, mate. He deserved. Uh, never mind. Uh, never mind all that.